qualified. Now, one of the first female nightclub DJs, whose career began at Manchester's Hacienda, has told us that, in spite of her success, male DJs are still paid more than twice as much. DJ Paulette launches her book, Welcome to the Club, at home in Manchester tonight. She's been speaking to Natalie Eve Williams from BBC Music, introducing about her life, her job and her music. What was it like being at the Hacienda at that time? You know, being not only one of the first women, but the only black woman DJ? DJing for me and being the, the only woman that looked like me doing it was like, this is great. I can entertain people. I can share my joy and love of music with people and nobody's going to say, we don't like the way you look. I don't think I'd have become a DJ or, or that my trajectory would have been anywhere near as pronounced if I'd have tried to DJ on the straight scene because there wasn't a place for a black female DJ on the straight scene. There really wasn't a place for female DJs on the straight scene. In the 90s, it was most definitely a boys club. Oh my God, is this for me? I could lick it, I just, I love it. This is for the people of Manchester who have looked after me. Even if you look at the DJ magazine Top 100, and I'm very, very blessed to have won an award from there, but if there are 100 places and 80 of those DJs are male, it's like, yeah, it's great. We, we've got 20 women in there. There's still a long way to go. And even when you do get to that level... You still, still have to hustle. Still have to hustle. <laughs> you, still, you do still have to hustle. We have a long way to go with this gender parity on, on you know, how much women get paid and people will pay a male DJ double that without flinching. <laughs> One of the biggest personal challenges that you talk about in the book is the pandemic. All the emails started coming about cancelled work, don't come in, you know, not this day. And I was just crossing all the dates off my diary. What was important for me, particularly in writing the book, was to make a play for there was a very human cost to the pandemic that has not been addressed. In no uncertain terms, I lost my mind. Like, I, I don't know what happened, but I flipped out. And the thing that kept me going through it was the music. And when the streams came, that was a lifesaver. Music and community is really important to people. I don't intend to give up DJing ever until either I go deaf or I drop dead. And God rest his soul, we've just lost Danny Nightingale. But when I see someone with a career like that who has managed to endure till her mid-80s, then I think, I'm going to be her when I go. Rich DJ Paulette, all the best with the book. Her mum's a regular viewer. Hello, Blanche. Uh, now then, uh, have a quick look at these pictures.